The number one rule of marketing, stand out from the crowd, but go beyond USP. USP is the second principle from Rosser Reeves. We talked about Acres of Diamonds, USP. Who knows what USP stands for? Oh my gosh, so many people said that. That's great. I often stand in a room like this and everyone looks really blankly and then someone really intelligent like John, uh, who's been through IBM, so he is intelligent, um, he will know what USP is. But there's two parts to USP, unique selling points and unique selling proposition. And that's still very, very important as it was with Ross Reeves back in 1961 um, when he brought out his book. But we have to go further. It's about features, benefits and results. The problem for a lot of businesses, you like to talk about you and you is the features. We are, we do. Have a look at your websites, have a look at your sales collateral and realise how many times within there you're using terms like we are, we do. I can only be interested in you if what you do is of interest and benefit to me. So we're already at two ends of a spectrum. On one hand, you just want to talk about you, and at the other end, I'm interested in that. I call it everybody's favourite radio station, WIIFM, what's in it for me? Because as a customer, that's what I want to know. So it's about understanding the benefits and the results that your service will deliver for a customer, not the features because I can be only interested in you, which is the features, if what you do is of interest and benefit to me. And most companies get that the wrong way around. When you get it right, you will be amazed at the difference it makes. You will be amazed at the difference it makes. So you need to ask yourself a simple question. How is your product, how is your service promoted? Do you use words that suit you, your marketing or design agency, or do you use words that actually suit your customers, your products, and your service? Most companies do that. Few companies take the time to do that. But that is not difficult, and that makes a big difference. It sets you aside from the rest. And if you only do one thing from this event, please look at your messaging. Sit down and identify, yes, what are the features, but what are the benefits and the results? I do workshop sessions with clients. They're really good. And I'll say, why do people do business with you? And they'll say, ah, oh, because we've been established for 25 years. I'll say, so what? That's a feature. So what? What's the benefit to me of you being established for 25 years? Well, if we've been around for 25 years, we'll probably be around for another 25. Okay, longevity. Okay, that's, that's a benefit. I can kind of see a benefit of that. What else? And you probe on that. What's the result of it? You know, through the recession, a lot of people <coughs> traded on that longevity. It was called nostalgia marketing. You saw it with Kellogg's looking at the old cornflakes packets. You saw it with Virgin going back to the original flights, the original uniforms. Because during times of stress, during times of recession, people go for things that they're familiar with. And therefore, that longevity really did work for people. But it's the same for everything else you do in your business. It's understanding, not just the feature, what's the benefit and the results of what I deliver. There was a great, great ad on the red jet, on the... the uh, uh, digital displays that go down the tunnel. It was, it was from Domino's Pizza. And it came up and it said, you know, any pizza, $9.99, delivered to your door. Okay, so any, feature, any pizza, $9.99 is a feature. Delivered to your door is a benefit. But the result bit was great. And it said, so it can be there when you get home. Brilliant. They give me a feature, they give me a benefit, and they give me a result of that. I can order a pizza for $9.99. It'll be delivered to my home and it'll be there when I get back. Brilliant. Really simple, very, very smart marketing. Mm -hmm.